Ethan Ryan, first of all, congratulations on being nominated the Betfred League One Young Player of the Year. I mean, I can't be alone when I looked at the nomination and I thought they put you in the wrong category considering you made your debut uh, back in 2016 and, and since then you really have progressed scoring some unbelievable and phenomenal tries. Yeah, I'm just thankful to be sort of shortlisted for any award really. It's, um, it's always nice to be recognised for some well, end of day it's your job in it so it's always nice to be recognised for something that you, you're professional and what you do. Um, we able to be nominated for the young player, it's, um, it's something that's a first for me so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing if I can win it. I mean 2018 has been a, a continuation of what happened in the, the previous seasons and some more. Currently in all competitions you've scored 34 tries, I mean, um, I mean that's just again phenomenal. Yeah it's, it's, been, it's been a really good year for me. Um, like you say, I've, I've, I've betted each season as it's gone past. Um, I know we haven't always been in League One and things, we've been in the champ and that. Um, so maybe the opposition has been a little bit tougher, but it's it's been, I don't know, it's been, it's been good to sort of keep that form into all these games, to play every game so far this year and to back it up with um, my tries is, is um, a goal of mine that I like to set. So I'm glad that I've actually achieved that and more. You've worked on the Three coaches, Rowan Smith, Jeff Tuve, and now John Keir. John Keir's going to be head coach next year. Some stability in the in the coaching ranks. Uh, how do you feel that that's potentially benefited you? And, and how do you feel you've developed as a player in 2018? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned all the coaches that I've worked under and Jim, Jimmy Laws are in there as well. So there's, there's actually quite a few that, whilst I've been here for the, for the three years I've been in the full-time environment, I've had about four coaches. So to have John here next year, it'll be it'll be good because it's it's a bit of stability. I know John wasn't here for the full pre-season this year, so he'll actually manage to plan what he wants us to do in pre-season. He'll be able to um, sort of plan for the season ahead instead of just coming in at a later date, which will be it'll be good for the team. It'll be beneficial for everybody, I think. So. Um, yeah, it's, it'll be good to have John here next year. I'm thankful to be here next year, and um, it'll be good to see what it brings. And how do you assess the uh, the season today, the, the performances? Um, very, very good today. I think we've we've handled this um, this season professionally, which we needed to do. Um, I think that we've, as a club, to say we've only lost three games in a season is, is massive. Uh, not many people can say that, and it's not often that you you only lose three games and you're not top of the league. Um, it's it's going for us, knowing that we are we are second. But um, like I say, we're playing each game as it comes, and hopefully um, something can go our way. Dalton Grant's just uh, been announced as being re-signed. Obviously, 2019 with the experience of Jake Webster uh, and Ashley Gibson, and, and the other players that are going to be coming in. Uh, there's going to be a real competitiveness uh, and perhaps freshness competition for places. Yeah, it's always good to have a competition for places. Uh, you see. You see, it brings out the best in people. Um, everyone's just striving to beat each other, which is it's good. It, it, it um, breeds a competitive environment, so it'll be good to have that uh, competition. Um, but bringing in the players like that is exactly what we need. Seeing that Dalton has signed another year, it's massive for us. Is um, is it's almost like having another forward. Sometimes the amount of carries he sex and it can is proved to everybody that it can it can finish a try and score a try. So having Dalton here next year is uh, it's it's big for us. Um, definitely good. I'm, I'm I'm good mates with him as well, so I'm glad he's staying. And just finally, for now, do you see your game developing uh, in 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 the coming months and, and year? Um, I'm not too sure to be honest. I, I tend to not think that far ahead. Um, first of all, I just want to get this year out of the way and just see um, see what happens with. Uh, promotion, whether we we achieve that or not, um, I feel like we will. So it'll be it'll be good to just get this year out of the way, and then next year when we know where we are, can start thinking about goals for the season and what we actually want. Um, but right now the focus is this weekend, Oldham, and then from there just start uh, getting that promotion push. And how tough is it going to be on Sunday against Oldham? Yeah, Oldham, like they came down with us from the championship last year. It's always a, a tough battle when we play against them. Um, this early game we played against them this year, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy task at all. Um, it went went right down to the wire. Um, so we know what Oldham Oldham bring. Um, we're gonna have a good week in training this week, and um, we'll we'll hopefully deliver the goods on Sunday.